This is the SoCal Update. I'm Cara Santa Maria. A new study reveals that Asian and Pacific Islander stereotypes are rife amongst Hollywood's top grossing films. It's Friday, May 28th. A study co-authored by sociologist and pop culture expert Nancy Yoon examined 1,300 top grossing films released between 2007 and 2019. Turns out only 3.4% of the leads in these movies were Asian or Pacific Islander, and two thirds of the characters were caricatured. So Dr. Yoon, can you tell us more about these stereotypes? Yeah, so we found that 67% of Asian and Pacific Islander characters were either emasculated, perpetual foreigners, hypersexualized, and many of them actually died. Over 25% died before the end of the film violently. And that's a concern given the uptick in anti Asian hate. Can you tell us about any other interesting findings from your study? So what we found was that even when Asians and Pacific Islanders were on screen, the tertiary characters spoke less than five lines. So they're not very complex at all, really one dimensional. And then a lot of the leads, actually, there were very few that actually were fully complex, fully human roles. So they didn't have families or romantic interests or friends. And those relationships are what makes a character complex and more empathetic. And we found that only about 12 percent of Asian and Pacific Islander characters actually were fully human in that way. So what do you hope the future holds for Asian and Pacific Islander characters in film? I hope that they will be just as big and diverse and fully human as white characters are right now. And we're not seeing that yet. And so until I think we see all the stories told of the diverse populations that exist in the United States, we're not there in terms of representation. <laughs> 